let's chill with some more and wake up. Keep watching this later on YouTube, as always. Thanks for clicking. Ah, oh, man, I just got back from hanging out with the family, so... I've been out all day. <laughs> Had to drive quite a fair distance, but... Uh, now I'm ready to just kick back for the rest of the evening. Uh... Yeah, what was I doing? last time. We just finished the dungeon and I guess auction. I did get the sale. I know that there's other stuff to get from this auction but I don't think I have the money for it right now. Are you glad you can stop refreshing Facebook? <laughs> Jeez. Hello, Confirming. Yeah. I've been out all day, so I only just got back, like... Pretty much the moment I saw the Discord message, I had just been in the door for, like, five minutes. I just need to put some trash out before starting up. Um, I can glide across here, can't I? Slept all day due to the stunning pain. Damn. Today was one of those days that I wish I could sleep in all day. Ah, <laughs> yep. oh, that's not gonna make it. We'll see how long I go for today. I'll play it by ear. At the very least, we'll do Wind Waker, and then we'll see how I feel about Kirby. <laughs> Damn it. Three days off, jealous. Uh, sure. I think there's a public holiday coming up in Australia, so... Or well, where I am, anyway. I think I'm only just, uh... Yep. Remembering that. I need to find some magic. One of these jars is bound to have magic, right? I'll talk to the boat. The boat will remind me where to go, but for now, I want that chest. I just need the game to give me... Something to replenish my magic, please. Anything. Anything at all. Pretty sure the jars only have rupees, so I have to go cut some grass. It seems like an oversight. I mean, I could use the money as well, so it's not like a total waste of time. There's other stuff I want to get from the auction house, but... I mean, magic refill would be great. Is there even any grass I can cut on the island? I don't remember seeing any. That seems like a bit of an oversight. There's usually something. But don't tell me that I have to go to the extent of uh, buying a potion <laughs> to replenish it. Maybe up with that grave? I don't know. Oh no, there we go. That counts as grass, I guess. I can't just jump 
on that island from the boat. Uh, maybe. Didn't consider that. Because then, like, when you hop off the boat, you just hop into the water, and then... Yeah, like, it doesn't... It doesn't really let you stand on the boat. Like, the moment you press B, it just hops into the water. Ah! Get back. Ugh, jeez. Okay. Boat, please. Turn. Oh, no, yeah, this does, this does not seem right. <laughs> Okay, let's just say it's here now. It would appear that the hitbox on the boat is very jank. Stop. Okay. Right, so that's about as lined up as I can get. That all lets you move slowly. I think it's moving quicker. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't let you completely hug the wall. Like, this is as close as I can get. No, and you're getting out on this side as well. So I gotta rotate the boat. I don't think this is gonna work, but I'll, I'll try it. I tried to get closer, but it just doesn't let me. Uh, let's see what else I can do about this. I'm kind of surprised. Usually on every island there's something you can mow down to get magic. Do I want a non-spoiling hint? Uh, I mean, am I going to get it my way anyway, provided I get magic? Or is there a way for me to get magic? I also just realized what may be throwing me off is like, I have the faster sail now, so I am moving quicker. Don't think there's magic on this island. Psst. Aside from the potion shop. I looked in the flowers, there didn't seem to be anything. But then again, that could have just been bad RNG. Let me reset it. How much does the potion cost, honestly? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just life energy anyway. Bring chew jelly to your shop, hang on. Is that, could it possibly, did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Hmm, oh, oh, actually, this is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates a new breed. What a fascinating jelly development. I've never seen one of this particular hue on Paw Print Isle. A small, a small atoll famous for its robust chew population. But I digress, and the game is afoot, for when it comes to making potions, I am a true artist. I've been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles from within me. Hmm. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. For a second there, I thought we were all square. But it seems quite clear that you don't have enough... I'm sorry. Fifteen! You see, I can't make potion without a specific minimum amount. I have fourteen. Wow. Wow. The dude vapes, yeah. Definitely looks like the vaping type. Well, yeah, I, uh, I appear to be one off. 
One off. Really? One. One. Just one. Oh no, this is like, this is an oversight right here. Does the beat have magic? I've never seen him with any, but I guess since he's here. I would hate to think that I'm going to have to sail to some island just to get a replenish. Well, apparently not. Um, it does not. Alright, look. I'm just gonna set sail. Oh, I'm changing the sail. You can change the sail. Now it's fast, I think. Yeah, so now it changes. I don't have to change the wind direction. It's just head wherever I want to head. So that's pretty nice. That is a good convenience. I just wanted to get that chest just for the... the money, and then go do the auction again, but... Yeah, no, this is significantly faster. This definitely seems like a massive quality of life update. You know, if this was on the Switch, it would probably be behind an amiibo. Much like the Skyward Sword one was. Okay, there we go. Probably n not enough. I'm not gonna go back just yet. But I guess it's something. Um, I'm going to talk to the boat. What do I need to do next? Head for the Forsaken Fortress. Okay. I mean, I kind of figured that's what we were doing. It is that way. All right. I guess let's just go. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to get magic out of that, I assume, anyway. So onwards. I can just put it down and kind of chill. I wonder why they chose to keep this silent at night time. I'm still a, a little perplexed at the- whoa, what is this? Actual pirates. Seems a little strange. Ah, my eyes! <laughs> so bright. I am a little tired. <laughs> I'm not memeing that actually. <laughs> that actually hurt a little. The bloom. Getting flashbanged. <laughs> 
That was like a flashbang, for sure. Wait, wait, oh, yeah, here, 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 here. Normal sail, please, so I can... Wait, how do I get in here again? Oh, no, but we were shot out of a cannon the first time, but we didn't actually just get in there. Come here, fish. <laughs> Maybe with the map we'll be able to see something. I hear there's a fellow on Windfall who's collecting skull necklaces. I know who that is. What I can tell you is that those pickish monsters you see here seem to carry those around all the time. Okay. Got it. So what it's saying is I should farm them. Okay, hang on. Look over there. What is that over there? It looks like... Is that a person? What does left D-pad do? It's the cannon. Ha ha ha! For for writing. I guess I should just do the cannon. I mean, I was trying to find a way in without, uh, yeah, like resorting to breaking down the door, but I guess I have to break down the door. Frame rate went a little, uh, choppy there. Ganon has likely been made aware of our little incursion already. But you have the Master Sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, none can keep you from rescuing your sister. Don't be afraid. So I just got to do everything I did last time. Wait, the lights are back on. Oh no, I actually have to do everything I did last time. They must have added the D-pad thing in HD. Pretty sure you had to equip bombs before. Huh. Okay. Ooh, it's a shadow. What am I doing? Don't throw it. There we go. Nope, blocking doesn't work. Okay, I guess I just have to wait. Your foe may be fierce and fearsome, but do not be afraid. Forge deep within the seal of your master sword is the power to repel evil. Even this ball of 
spell magic bears down on you. Stand ground and knock it back with your sword. Oh, yeah, why didn't I- why didn't I recognize that? I- I can't believe I didn't recognize that. I can't believe I didn't recognize that. It's like the Aghanim fight. It's Nintendo, you either hit their eye or hit their balls. <laughs> no, but I mean... It's not always the case, I guess. I don't think there's any fights in Zelda where you hit back their projectile. I mean... Not Zelda, what I'm saying. I'm trying to say, um, Breath of the Wild, jeez. Oh, it's a skull hammer. <laughs> it's like a cartoon hammer. Oh, that's great. Okay. I'm just glad I'm not going to have to do stealth. Let's just go in. Things are different this time around. You're doing the final fight and believe in some of the dungeon bosses. In the fight against Ganon, I really don't remember. It's been a minute, you know. I guess when we get to it. Which I'm hoping will be before uh, Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Should definitely take out all of them just to get their uh, necklaces. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. I think I'm good. the stage for so long that I, I just I hate hearing the theme to the stage. I definitely spent too long in here. Wait a minute. Oh the the ropes are gone. I just noticed the ropes are gone. This is different now. Might as well take these things out. Come <laughs> on. 
can glide though now. I don't think glide I don't think gliding is gonna help. If I had more magic, I could probably glide as far as I needed to. I guess that'll have to do. Just skip a room, I guess. I won't have that rat <laughs> ratting me out. I do find it funny though. It's like a literal rat ratting you out. Oh no, I wanted your thing. Oh no, whatever. Okay. Great. <laughs> it's a cartoon hammer. I mean, on the bright side, magic replenishment. Exactly what I wanted. Where are you coming from? Why don't they stop? Okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on. That's magic. What? <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying things, but did one just disappear in front of me? Did, that, did, did I say something or did that one vanish? Is, is that is that how they're supposed to behave, or was, or was that like just jank? Don't think they're supposed to be infinite enemies either. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't feel right, but whatever. Oh, don't tell me I have to do this again. Really, 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 really. Okay, the the light's on me, so I guess not. Uh, let's, let's just assume this is going to be okay. <laughs> okay, no. No, gotta go deal with that. Ugh. Oh, no. gonna take this cartoon hammer and smack the living crap out of that thing for wasting my time. What? It's not... Ah, oh, it's the one over there. Uh... Okay, there's no quick way for me to do this, is there? Oh, now I'm allowed to do this.
There has to be a quick way. this at all. Alright. So there's no rope swing this time. Now I actually have to glide across. Yep. Okay, so now up this way. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. Uh, I wonder if I can. No, come on, let me grab the ladder. Let me grab the ladder. What do you mean you can't grab the ladder like that? Ugh, I have to. I actually have to. Okay, I have to go the long way. I can't believe they put the crates back down. What? Yo, that was not there last time. <laughs> or was it? Maybe I just didn't run into it. Check out the other one. Just because we need more. if this is maybe it is infinite they all seem to be coming out of that window there okay now but now they just seem to be coming out of everywhere what <laughs> where are you coming from this is materializing out of nowhere. I swear that thing better not knock me down. What was it? What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that move I just did? Is there a box here? Oh, there's no box here this time. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> Suddenly did this weird combat roll forward. Please, please don't. Please don't. Okay. 
I just all I did was release A, and <laughs> it's just the combat roll. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh. Oh no, that, yeah, that makes total sense. That sort of mechanism. I love Toon Link's stank faces, like that one. <laughs> Big brother! You're okay. I was worried. Hi. The cell won't open that easily. There you go, acting before you think, as usual. I swear, do you even realize that we had to draw that monster bird off for you? I was about to come flying in here after you again. That sword. Where did you get that? Are you? Is it even possible? How could it be? Hmm, well never mind about that. For now, we'll just take these girls. I'm sure their father's back in town will pay a handsome reward for their return. I'm so sorry to interrupt such a heartwarming reunion. But isn't there still something that you need to take care of? If you're worried about your sister, don't be. I promise I'll deliver her safely back to your little island. Normally, I'd expect a huge reward for something like this, but this time it's my treat. Listen, Errol, your brother still has some things to take care of. Big, important, grown-up things. He'll be back soon, so just wait nice and quiet until he returns, okay? But big brother... Miss Tetra, we have to hurry. The bird will be here any second. Gonzo, excellent, you're just in time. Take this one for me. Huh? But she's... She's fine, just do as you're told. Big brother! <laughs> Wait. Link. We'll be back, I swear it. Are we saving the burbs too? I mean, hopefully. They seem to be just chilling there. Oh, yeah, the door locks. Keep running up.
my bad. Oh wait, I know. No, other one, other one. Break the mask. Oh, just, yep. <laughs> just bash its skull in. Okay, that works. I thought it was like uh, one of the bosses in A Link to the Past where you break the mask and then you can damage it. But I think it just shattering its, its head right away, that works. Or maybe it's not actually dead, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, it's not actually dead. But I assume that's the thing to work. Shatter the mask, then you can hit it. because I'm getting pushed into the spikes. It is what I think it is, I just have to be patient. I can see it cracking. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Ah! Whoops. I was just going for a cinematic shot. But suck with it, really? It's not too bad so far. I mean, maybe it'll get worse, who knows. Seems 
should be the same even with the helmet off. Or the mask. up into the air to explode. Okay. Don't forget to grab the heart piece. Or heart container, I should say. There's no portal that I'll accidentally walk through this time. Oh yeah, I forgot to change the volume when I started playing. It might be a bit louder than last time. Yep. There we go. That should be better. Because I have to turn it back up when I put the switch back in. Anyway. It's gone and darf. You've done well to sneak into my fortress and wriggle your way all the way up here. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf, and I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. By the way, boy, when you drew that sword of yours out of its resting place, did you by chance notice how all the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? That is like one smug-ass grin right there. Do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. Foolish child, while that sword is indeed the blade of evil's bane, at the same time it has long played another role. You see, it is also sort of a key, a wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. You cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. What you hold is useless. Go back to the world below and tell that to the pathetic fools who made this blade. Its power is gone and its edges are dull. Link, get up! Ah, uh, stop, let, let me go! You pathetic little sea rat. My Triforce of Power is resonating. Ha, at long last I've found you, Princess Zelda! What? What are you talking about? I don't know any Zelda. Feigning ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me, if you are not Zelda, then why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? Good job, birds.
<lacht> Wrecked. Ja. It's all right, Link. She has merely lost consciousness. Your sister has escaped the Forsaken Fortress with the pirates. You can relax. She's safe now. Lord Valu, you arrived not a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. I am aware of this. Yet, I thought our first priority should be to separate these two from Ganon's grasp. What, what what is he doing? Oh. I guess just flying away. Link, I will explain things later. Now we must return to the world beneath the sea. Making his dramatic ex exit. Just has to circle the tower. <laughs> I guess. Hmm. Oh, ow. Link, are you alright? What is this place? Hey, and Ganondorf, what happened to him? Hey. Link, what are you doing? You must come now to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who is using that stone? Just who are you? Link and I are the only ones who can speak through the stone. How dare you use this what's not yours? Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Link to see me at once. Hmm, well, don't you sound important. Fine, we're on our way. Just hold your horses, whoever you are. Link, what are you waiting for? You heard the stone. You're supposed to show me how to get where that voice is. Do I have to do the puzzle again? No, okay, good. <laughs> it's conveniently open. Are you him? Are you the one who is speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me! That stone is an enhanced version of the Gossip Stones, long spoken of in legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. <laughs> you made it? The royal family's gossip stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Ni uh, have you neither heard of the tales? Neither of you heard of the tales, geez. Tales of, this, of the kingdom spoken of in the legend of the great hero. The place where the power of the gods lies hidden. This place where the two of you now stand is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. I am its king. Daphne's no no Hansen Hyrule. What? Yo, was that always the king's surname of Hyrule? King Hyrule? I don't remember that ever. <laughs> Link, do you not recognize my voice? I am indeed... The one who guided you here. I am the King of Red Lions. There was no need for me to reveal my true identity to you so long as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Ganon. But now both of you must listen to me. Once long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the fiend, and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself, and so with a torrential downpour of rains from the heavens. Our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet, 
all was not lost, for the gods knew that to seal the people away within the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. So before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintops. Those people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its somber. Tetra, come to me. This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passes down to you and instructed you to treasure it and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept away from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past, and so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the very reason that you live. <laughs> the sound effect. Really? Oh, the clothing as well is part of it, I guess. My fate? You are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I'm a princess. You are confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Link. I'm terribly sorry that you have been caught up in these events. But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she begets, possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair, and so will the world you know above the waves. Link, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come back back with me to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Zelda. It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, this sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. Link, we must go. <laughs> okay. Follow the teleporting ghost. Link. I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's all been my fault. I'm so sorry. Link. Be careful. I 
don't get why they needed to dress her up again, though. They could have left her as is. I guess for the sake of being familiar looking. Link, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the sages who infused the blade with the power, the god's power. The sages should be here in Hyrule in the Wind Temple to the north and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must head for these two temples to see what has happened to the sages and attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking our path to the temples. But each temple should have another entrance high up on Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemy's attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. They abandoned that familiar appearance? And which one? I mean, not not one that I can think of, really. I mean, if you're referring to Breath of the Wild, it's still somewhat familiar. Skyward Sword? Nah, she still looks more or less the same in Skyward Sword. Breath of the Wild's probably the one that had the most departure. Link, do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? Once long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. A piece of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time, and he kept it safe, much as Zelda kept hers. That sacred piece is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that at that time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where they rest, but I know this much. They lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. Might you have crossed paths with someone who knows about things that lie in the depths of the sea? Well, fret not, if you can think of no one. Though maybe you would come upon the knowledge by asking around some place where many people gather. Um... Yeah, I mean, in Skyward Sword it was an art style that made it look different, but still thematically was the same. Whereas in Breath of the Wild, I guess it was clothing was different and I don't they tried to give her a different personality and I guess being beyond the uh, the damsel in distress but I mean aside from that like most of the differences typically are just uh Uh, just from an art style perspective. In this... I guess all I'm saying is, like, they could have just kept her as, like, the pirate girl. They didn't have to put her in the classic dress, but... I guess for the sake of being... Her clothes are pretty different. Nah, they weren't. Not, not really. Like, it was an art style thing. She was still Zelda looking. Whereas in this one... I mean, hairstyle wasn't the same, and just looked different. She was a pirate. I played Skyward Sword like about a year ago, so it's still pretty fresh in my mind what that looked like. It just looks different because of the art style, that's all. But at the end of the day, it was still like classic princess looking. All I'm saying is this one, she doesn't look like a princess, that's all. And I was okay with that.
Okay, where are we headed? Well, there's a few places marked on the map that I can't really <laughs> represent. So let's just sail for a while. According to this, it's in this direction. I guess all I was pointing out was like, suddenly went from cool pirate lady to like, oh, it's damsel in distress time. That's all. I thought when they did the whole, like, Zelda chic duality thing, that was probably the coolest she's ever been. But outside of that, like, it's always been just the, oh, it's just damsel in distress. Shake was cool. Yeah, Shake was pretty cool. I thought that was a really cool concept. And kind of sucks they haven't really revisited Shake as a concept for a while. Maybe I need to go see the person about treasure first. This doesn't look like it's something I can get past at the moment. I also just realized it's night time and I have 500, so I'm going to try and score at the auction again. I guess it's kind of the same for Peach and Mario. Like, outside of, uh, like, I kind of wish they used the Paper Mario version of Peach more. As opposed to the mainline games. Because she's more interesting of a character. Hopefully, because it looks like whatever they're going to do with Peach in the Mario movie, they're going to make her beyond what she is in the game, which is good. It's just a question of whether or not that remains going forward. Okay. 200 and what? Okay, what, what do I, this better be worth it. To the esteemed Mr. Fairy person, thank you very much for your purchase. Enclosed in, is an incredible chart. This chart will show you where you can find the Triforce charts and the Triforce shards. I want you to use it to find lots of them. They are my favorite kind of items. And also, sir, have you been checking your Tingles chart? I have not. Have you seen those giant fairy marks? Follow them to chart them and your fortune will increase greatly. Tingle. Okay. The only real opportunity they've had to make a new Sheik since Ocarina of Time was Twilight Princess and that was kind of taken up by Meedna. Yeah, but even even Meedna 
It made them was more of a companion. It wasn't like a, a side plot, I guess. It's not really the same thing. I mean, maybe in Tears of the Kingdom, who knows? I mean, if they want to give Zelda the personality, you know, they, they tried to give her a personality in Breath of the Wild. Maybe if they want to, like, bring that to its most logical conclusion, make that version of Zelda become strong enough to be like Sheik. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna, like, I already found her annoying in Breath of the Wild, and it was just because I'm sure the voice actress tried, but I think it was just the setting in it. It just got annoying after a while. So I'm hoping whatever they do with her next, like, it's beyond what role she had in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, hold up. What's a kid like you doing out at a time like this? Hey, you have to take a look at the heavens too. In that case, you'll get a better view from here. I guess let's have a look. Look at that. Aren't the three sister stars impressive? What a stellar family. Oh wow, you can really zoom in here. I thought I'd maybe get something for that. Okay. Say, did you know, like the human heart, the shape of the moon changes with time. Every night it just becomes a little bit different. Hey, do you know what the name of that constellation is? No? I guess that's it. Thought I was getting something from this. Alright, let's go to the auction. I'm kind of surprised they haven't shown more of what's happening in Tears of the Kingdom. Like, the game's pretty close to releasing. But I guess, sure. Maybe the less we know, the better. Wait, who was that? Alright. So, there's, there's a couple of things that I want from this, let's just see. <laughs> not the treasure chart. This one's is not, is not worth any money. Again, I just love the premise that the child is the only one that hears about a treasure map and is like, nah, waste of time. Oh, I thought he was sweating or something, but it's just the lighting. It's just the lighting. What's causing that lighting? I thought he was sweating. What what is causing that? that? Ugh. Probably like a. Is it the sparkling of the the vases? Guess it is. Yeah, they all kind of have that effect on them, but not to that extreme. Stop it! <laughs> Anything but the treasure chart. Why is this one worth more? I wonder if that's telling the first for you. Shh. Take off, go away. Fine then. Just wanted to say hi. Uh, 
Stop it. Stop it. I don't want- I don't want your chart. You can give me literally any other item, just not- not the chart. Okay. I mean, maybe I can't get it yet, but... If it doesn't appear this time, I'll see. I'll say, hey, Laura, what's up? Come on. No. No, 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 no. Um... Hold up. Do I go? Okay. Just let me see for a sec. I'm just really that unlucky. There are two treasure charts. So hang on, what? Sorry, one sec. Ugh, stupid hard drive. I mean USB hub. I'm just looking this up real quick. Okay. Right. Alright. I see. Is Zelda even in this game? Of course she is. She always is. Just wait. Mm -mm -mm. Apparently, more stock happens when you win certain items, so I guess I have to win these stupid charts, despite me not liking them. So, let's just get through this. I'm gonna have to probably come back. So, oh crap, no, that's not what I was meant to do. Uh, should be 50. Okay, there we go. Never played a Zelda game, but you've never seen it. It's because... The game is oriented around... Her character, but it doesn't involve her as a main character. That often. She's like a tertiary character. Like... You either have to rescue her, or... She's involved in the legend in some way. But, like, the main character is Link, typically. Like, in my opinion, they should have named this 
series, The Legend of the Triforce, instead. It makes more sense. It just goes because the first game is about rescuing her, so it's like the story of you rescuing her, basically. But then they form the lore around, you know, why she's important, why Link's important, why the bad guy's important, and that's the Triforce, so the series really should be called that. The Legend of Hylia, eh, but I think just saying it's the Legend of the Triforce kind of gives them flexibility because they can make it take place in a completely different setting, have a completely different main character, but still have it relate back to um, the Triforce. The moment you give it like a specific name, whether it be a race of people, a town, or a person, it's pretty restrictive. Unlock him. Okay. I've probably overpaid for this. I'll get the other C chart and then I guess I'll come back later. The faces Link makes in this game is they're pretty great. But I guess because it's a cartoon, it just has a slapstick kind of vibe to it. I'll try and get the one that was worth 60. No, I don't want that. I'll leave. <laughs> I don't want that. That's not worth it. You can just get that from an enemy. I'm good. I just have to be patient. I love how, now that I want the chart, it's not appearing. But before, I mean, it was like five charts in a row. Stop it. <laughs> Go back to giving me charts. I can just get this from enemies. I don't, like, I'm not gonna pay 40 for this. Didn't I say how much I don't want the chart? Well, that was because I thought that the item that I want was something that was in the rotation, but apparently it's only in the rotation after you've won certain items, so I need to win the charts first before it is able to be in the pool of items. So I changed my mind about it. Which I did say. Okay, that'll do. Is that the 60 one though? Yeah, okay, cool. And then I'll come back later and hopefully the other item will be available. Uh, whoa, whoa, 
69, no, 70, because I'm not sure if it rounds up or down. Hopefully that'll prevent it from getting too expensive. Uh, hold on. 80. 80? 81, just to be safe. If I can get up for under 200, I'll be happy. <sighs> uh, Stop it. to be one hang on let me work it out is that right i think that should be right no wait no i'll just go up by one just to be safe okay I think I did okay, not as good as it could have been, but it was under 200, so. Alright, I'll be back sometime in the future once I have my money saved up again. Okay, uh... Where are these Triforce charts? Incredible map. This map isn't open. Ah, here we go. Okay. Okay, so there's one in the top. Yeah, you can't see the map I'm looking at, but like... Oh, you can't even see the grid I'm looking at. Auction ruins a lot of speedruns and it's like two hours into the run. <laughs> this is why I am not a speedrunner. Just stuff like that would be infuriating. I'd much rather rely on playing a game for the first time or at the very least just being entertaining enough. That that carries the stream as opposed to being good enough to do something quickly. Okay, that's the direction, and I can put the gamepad down until we get there. Yeah, I really feel like they should have put music into this. Do I have... yeah, I do. Okay, I still have it in my history. Why not? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Just not so we're not sitting here in silence. What's the music? Uh, it's surf music. It's the first surf theme. Can I even get up here? Did I come to an island that I can't actually do anything on? I don't even see a spot where I can hook with. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm equipped to do this one. It looks like I need the classic hook hook shot. Assuming it's in this game. Doesn't seem to be a point where I can get up. Alright, uh, where is this chart gonna take me next? Apparently one... Okay. One's being sold? If I'm interpreting this correctly. Again, I wish I could share the bottom screen. Alright, I'm gonna follow this path down. At least this looks like it's a, uh... It's like a pretty linear path. Assuming I'm interpreting this correctly. May as well get that. Once I have about 300, I'll, I'll go back to the auction thing. <laughs> I 
I'm pretty good at just predicting where it is as opposed to just listening to the sound like you're supposed to. I think if I was using the Pro Controller for this, it would probably show the map on screen. Unfortunately, I don't have one for the Wii U. I might go take a look at, like, a... Uh... like a second hand shop or something and see if I can track one down. Okay, so somewhere around here it says there's a chart. Probably that island. Okay. I think I know what I have to do. Oh, hello. Okay, what have we got? How have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship writing you this letter. Isn't that neat? At first I was really scared, but they're actually really nice. For pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Not just a little strange, but nice, too. And as for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the mood. Zuko is kind of weird and Marco is quiet. Marco immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. As usual, Nico is always fooling around. He won't take anything serious. Actually, he seems sad not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? I helped them all out with their chores and they actually paid me a little for it, so I'm sending the money to you. Please, you... Oh, that's sweet. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't worry. I'll take care of myself, so... You be sure to take care of yourself. Good luck. Especially now that I need money. It would have sucked if I had full money and it would have gone to waste. Okay, so... I think I know what I need to do here. Oh, no. Do I not have any? I don't have any. Is Beetle's ship nearby? I, I thought I bought a lot of the... Right. Hold on, I need to find Beetle. Please tell me... Okay, good. <laughs> it was close enough. Just get the map first. Tell me, small fry, have you ever heard of the Golden Triumph Forks? They're there on that island, or at least the chart leading to them is there. Where it's hidden, you ask? Well, for the answer to that, you'll have to ask a girl. And that's, yeah, I, that's what I was about to do. Unfortunately, I don't have the food for them. And I don't think the shop is around. Uh, uh. Yeah, 
I don't know, there's weird names to everything in this one. I thought I missed. have to find the ship now. You reshelled your Joy-Cons with a clear green shell and it was so much work. Oh no, it, it is. I did mine with a clear purple, like the old uh, N64 controllers, and yeah, it was a hassle. I I have large hands, and some of the springs on the triggers, the springs on the triggers, oh man. For me to get them put back together, that's what sucked the most. It was horrible. The first one took me like an hour and ten minutes to do, and then the second one took like about half an hour. I don't really use uh, my Joy-Cons as much though, because when I'm in handheld mode, I got um, the Split Pad Pro, and that thing, let me tell you, it is... If you don't care about Rumble, and you don't care about NFC, and you want something that has a really good analog stick and nice and big buttons, the Split Pad Pro. That thing is amazing. It's good for people with big hands, but also just if you want a real analog stick. Did find with the right one, but struggled hard with the NFC thing. Really? Oh. I don't remember the NFC thing being that painful. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to do that process again. That gave me a headache. <laughs> For sure. I just realized I had Beatles chart. I know where he is now. He's in this tile here. What is this island? Oh, it's this island, right. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. You'll probably do aftermarket analog sticks because yours feel awful. I mean, I don't know if I've talked about the thing that I use, the split pad pro, but like, hang on. I've talked about them before on stream, but like the ones I have are specifically Mega Man themed, but I mean, otherwise they're like Be curious they look like this I was a sucker for Mega Man 2 that was like one of my favorite games growing up, but like, that aside, that, the analog stick on that thing, oh man, it is so good. Thank you! The analog stick on that thing is super good. Thank you! Bye! It's 
same, I mean, same with the D-pad as well, like, D-pad, it's a D-pad, <laughs> that's all, that's all there is to it, it's a D-pad. Yep. Really disappointed it didn't allow for you to sound attached. Yeah, I mean, they're not Joy-Cons, I guess that's the thing, that's the biggest complaint about those things is, they're not, they're not Joy-Con replacement by any means, but they are excellent for handheld use, that's all. So I, when I play handheld, I use those for sure. Here we go. Oh. I see there was a hook version there, but it's okay. Alright, let's see what happens. What is this? Oh, there's multiple switches, I see. This is like a, uh... Mission to hit the top switch. Damn it! Oh, that's that's annoying. Do I have to hit that bottom one again? I mean, maybe I can take them out. Okay, we're going straight up this time. Just ignore them as best as I can. Just go up, 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 up. Oh no! I had it! Okay, retreat, 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 retreat. Turn around. Oh, you've got to be kidding. There's, mu there's multiple switches. Each of them has a switch. Okay, got it. It's so hard to control this bird, holy crap. This one. Okay, got that one. I think that's the last one there. Yes! Okay. Into the ominous pit. <laughs> It would appear that I uh, have the correct location. I mean, whatever Nintendo does next, I really hope they just make whatever that replaces the Joy Cons just better. Reflect the wind are shown here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, maybe. Okay, worked. The biggest thing you hate that they did was try to make the joy cons so they could be used by each person. Completely fucked the design. Yeah, I mean... They went... It's like... It's one of those things that, in spirit, it's kind of good, but in practice... It's like you're sacrificing the single-player experience for the sake of maybe you want to play with someone. So, I don't know. It was one of those things that it was just, they did it for the sake of the marketing of the console. Like, when they showed that thing for the first time and the fact that, you know, just take, take a controller and give another half to a person, like, that seemed cool and it was part of the whole message. Like, oh no, this is, you're buying this for the console, you're not buying this for the games, you're buying this because all this stuff is, like, pretty cool. One two switch, but you know what? I didn't mind one two switch. That might be an unpopular opinion, but when I took it around to mess around with people, like they enjoyed it. Just want another clamshell. You just want another DS. It's like golden era. I want them to resurrect the Game Boy brand. Like, we all want different things. I've honestly been enjoying my analog pocket because of that reason. It's just taken me back to that era of the Game Boy. Game Boy just got added to Switch Online. Yeah, it did. But it's not like playing on a Game Boy. And they probably won't have all the games that I like anyway. Because they're going to trickle them out over the next however many years. And it's not quite the same experience, really. It has Minish Cap. Yeah, I have a copy of Minish Cap. It's like right next to me in this tin of games. I've been wanting to, um... There's this store on Etsy that print... So they they took the clamshell... Well, the, the shell of a DS game holder, and they kind of 3D print it. They took that base, and they can fit Game Boy or Game Boy Advance games in there, and then they print, like, a custom cover, and it just looks so good. Because games from the GB and GBA era came in cardboard boxes and basically no one had has them anymore. <laughs> like, they kind of got thrown out, so... Or, you know, just degrade over time. But I've seen them and they look pretty damn sweet. The only problem is, because most of those stores are in America, the shipping to Australia is expensive. So, it'd be one of those things that I'd be sh shelling out quite a bit to get it done, but... I mean, right now they're all kind of sitting in a tin that used to have Pokemon cards in there, so... Apparently there's another chart on this tile. Oh, so take a guess, probably here. This seems likely.
can I even destroy these? Or I... No, you can't. Okay. Okay. I think I need to have a more tactful approach here. Too far away. I think combat on the sea is a little clunky. Crap. That's actually dead. Because <laughs> I don't have a fairy in a bottle. I mean, save it, but like, continue. Where is this going to place me? Oh, okay. But it's it's fine. Can I hit him? I did. Okay, cool. Alright, we're safe. We're safe. Alright, so now let's What is this gonna get me though? Oh. It's just... Just gonna give me more of that. Ah, too far. Yeah, I kinda knew it. Let me go for this one instead. What? I still missed? Oh, there we go. No, I was in the right spot. Just incorrect angle. Okay. Uh, I guess now we can attack the base. Oh, no. It is actually here. We <laughs> must seal away this treasure map. And also this this currency.
Okay, that's another one. Alright, and the last one should be just to the west of here. You know, that animation of opening chests, because of the Breath of the Wild, I've learned not to like it. <laughs> Just because every time you open a chest in Breath of the Wild, it's never anything exciting. Really. They've kind of, they kind of ruined opening chests up in Breath of the Wild to the point where, like, I just never opened them. It was always just a weapon or just something minor. The whole, like, ooh, have I found the heart piece or something big. Kind of gone. It was always just, yeah, junk. <laughs> I do hope that in the next one they, uh, they kind of go back on that. I just felt like, yeah, that was a little bit, uh, it was lost a little bit. Okay, so I did come to this island before, but... So apparently there's one here, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, no, here, look. What is that? I guess. Give me a feather. Maybe I need a... It looks like there's seagulls, so I might need to do something for birds. Let's see. I've only got two pieces of bait left. But I get the feeling it's destroy these jars. Nope, they they nope out the moment I get near them. Expected. Okay, got it. It's all right, it worked. That's all I wanted. Do I? Oh, I think I know what I have to do. Okay, hold on. Before that... <laughs> Before that... Why are they so gigantic? Okay. <laughs> I guess that's all that was. Um, the only other thing is... I need fire to get in here. I don't think bombs will work. Despite bombs, I guess, 
having fire explosives. I don't think this would work. Yeah, you need a fire rod. Okay, I'm guessing that's what I need to get in there. Um, according to this, the chart is on here. Well, no, that's not true. What? It's got an icon of... It looks like it has an icon of a ship, so maybe I just need to look for a ship. This could be something else. Guess let's have a look around. There are ships over there. All right. stayed there too long. I think I got how this works now, the combat. Just get into position and then shoot a few shots and then move. important. Uh, um. Okay, hang on. I, I just want to move a little bit, not much. behind me. There we go. Hey. Nice. Okay. Uh, it's going to be night time, so let's head to Auction Island. I don't, I don't care about that. That's just money. <laughs> it's, at this point, it's not going to matter. I hope I can get there before uh, daybreak. I wonder how much long this game would take without this fast sale. Because this is significantly faster. Like, you can kind of go from one end of the map to the other in about a minute, which is pretty quick. I mean, I should pay Tingle Island a visit, but I'm not gonna. No, I can I can outrun this. Just ignore it, honestly. I'll return to Tingle Island later.
Go away. Stupid shock. I love how it just gives up the moment you get to sh uh, the island. To shore. Alright, you, you may now get off Link. What's with this girl? <laughs> She's just kind of hanging out at night, inconspicuous. Not for something that is that common to get. Now, I'm just reading what it says. The item that I want. After the windfall auction is opened and winning multiple prizes. Which I've done, but like, define multiple. I guess that's- I guess that's the thing, like, do I have to win one of each? It doesn't really say what multiple means. So it's either it's available now and I'm just unlucky, or I have to win one of these and then it'll be available. So, hmm. I'll try a couple more times, but if it's not appearing, then I guess I have to try and win one of these. Which, eh, but sure. not looking good. <laughs> Have I met Tingle yet? What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the one in the, in the jail cell. One more try, but I got the feeling I need to win one of these before it... It does it. You should give me the tingle vibrator thing. What do you mean, tingle vibrator thing? <laughs> what? Jeez, that's, uh... It's quite a name. That's not what I'm looking for here, but... If 
doesn't pop up this time, I'm gonna... Okay, let's just win one of these. I have to, like, get to this before it starts getting too expensive, so... Just unlock them a few times. It is the Tingle Tuna GBA thing in SD, but a bottle in HD. Okay, then I do have that bottle already. But that, it only works on the, uh, the Miiverse, which is shut down already. <laughs> so it's, it's a useless item. Uh, it looks like a GBA, okay. Thought it was gonna look like a vibrator, but it's it's just a GBA. <laughs> nice, thank you, thank you. Should have been the winning bid, in my opinion, but, you know. Man, they are just... Okay, good. Perfect, I'm gonna get it for a hundred. I'm pretty happy with that. as well. Alright. So if I have a budget to get the next item, it's just, it just depends if it's going to hand it out now or not. It's very vague. It says multiple items, but... Yeah, we'll see. Dear me, I'm sorry to say it seems you won't be holding an au the auction for some time. Ah! Okay. Yeah, so we'll come back at some point in the future. Yeah, so now, next time I come back here, the item should be there. I guess. Um, now I need to go see Tingle to get these charts deciphered. Oh yeah, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn the ship around. I just realized I can do this now. Remember? Remember how I needed magic at the start of the stream? Um... Hey, what? Wait, whoa, 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 it's invisible. Why can't I touch it? Why do I face through it? I rolled through it, unless 
I did something wrong. I can still get back on there. What is this chest? Okay, slowly. What is this? What on earth? I mean, the only thing I can think of is, like, this, usually. Huh. Why is this invisible? Let me check my chart real quick. There doesn't appear to be any reason why this should be invisible. Was this just a colossal waste of time? Let's see, you can see my bottle there, but, um... I guess I don't have anything to deal with this. Okay. For now, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll be back for it. I guess there was more involved than I thought. I can't believe there's no magic on this island. Like, what is that? It seems a bit strange. to Tingle Island. <laughs> nice bombs, thanks. Did I get the shot here? I don't know. I guess I should say. I think the GameCube version was slow because of the limitations. Maybe. Okay, never mind. Not really. I don't need money. Is that the shock again? No, we're okay. I just wonder what, what on earth he's doing here. It's very ominous. Oh, Mr. Fairy. I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play. Hmm. That fragrant, musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Why? You can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you? 398 rupees? No, thanks. Eh... Uh, Mr. Fairy, are you poor? Well, I guess that's fine. You can just return later. Ooh, he's really going to charge me that amount. Wow, okay. Tingle, tingle, become readable. Okay. Oh, 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 no. 
Okay, okay, I'll be back, but at least I have a way forward for one of the pieces. Wow. I mean, that's what that's what we call uh, filler in the anime world is just this is, you know, instead of going straight to the destination, we spend 15 episodes where Link has to amass a lot of money. <laughs> this is the filler arc. Charging the spirit bomb, oh my god. If you ever watch the original run of Dragon Ball, you'll know exactly how that feels like. Dynamic arc, man. I can be a mailman to make money at minimum wage. I mean, I think shooting the fish is pretty, um... A pretty good way to do it. I think this base had multiple treasure chests, so I might just stop in here. From memory. Was it this base, or maybe it was another base? Oh, the frame rate, like, goes really nasty in here. That's, yeah, wow. That is, that is some... It's alright. I mean, honestly, I run into enough treasure anyway. It shouldn't be a problem. Let's just head to the destination. I don't even know where this is, though. I guess it's... According to this, it's something that has... A collection of islands. There is a trial I can make money at. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Wait, have I been here? I don't think I've been here. Hang on, what is this? I mean, honestly, to get 500 back, it doesn't take that long. Interesting. Did I do all the Koroks? No. I haven't gone around and done that thing. I've seen a couple. I just I just wish I could stamp where they are. Wait, what are you? My, that battery of mountain guns is a dangerous thing. If only someone could blow the entire lot of them to bit. It's a shame they exist, for there is something wonderful hidden there. Wait, where? That battery of mounted guns. Yeah, honestly, the making notes thing is a big deal. I'm surprised they didn't add it to this. I guess they mean just that ship. I'll go take that ship out. I mean, at worst, I'll get like 50 rupee for it. Prepare for battle!
gone. A single rupee, really? Cargo is the waking of the winds. Right now, it's currently the uh, the grinding of the tingle funds. You know, when I say that, it kind of, it just doesn't sound right. <laughs> the grinding of the tingle funds. I guess that's not what it was referring to. Hmm. What were they referring to? They're looking straight at that tower, so I guess that tower. Alright, let's go. But yeah, I mean, other than that, it's just been... It's been pretty laid back today. I just did that to stop the sailing, the sailing instantly. <laughs> oh, this is what it's referring to. I see. Am I gonna get shot? No. Okay. I'll take it. Is that that it? No. Okay, so here's the thing. Can I wait? No, I can absolutely shoot the cannons in here. So if I was to down this tower, let's see. Let's just let's just say we will. Surely there's a reward. Oh! There is. I was half expecting nothing, to be honest. Did I go too far? No. The speedy sail. But I guess it worked. Hey, you're in the way, boat. There we go. Am I? <laughs> it, just, it looked like I wasn't climbing for a sec. I guess that means to do this with every single tower. Oh, that was worth it. Cool.
Okay. Um, this map, though. So I guess I have to cross-reference what I'm looking at here. I'm not quite sure what map I'm looking at. Yeah, here's the problem. The Triforce chart one, it's like... I don't really have a lot of the map, so... I guess, let's just take a guess. Maybe it is one of those spots that are pointed on the map, let's just see. I'll go to the southernmost one. Seeing the game is nostalgic. Yeah, a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia for this one. It's kind of funny because my memories of it were negative. Not because I played it, I, this is the first time I'm playing it, but just the sentiment around this game was pretty negative at the time because people were annoyed that um, it was just this cartoony art style as opposed to like the realistic Link that they were showing off in the demo beforehand. People are kind of salty about that one for a while. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's there. So, those are my memories of this. It was just... Initially, it just wasn't as well received. Oh, it's the same one. Okay, I guess I have been here. Okay, there's a chest here, though. Why have I not gotten this? Okay, this it seems like I can do. There's a hammer. Maybe. We'll see. There appears to be multiple things I need to do here. Yep, no, that's cool. If I was to take a guess... I can't see. Stupid yeah. grass, get out of here. Okay, I did hit it. Oh, it's up now. Why is it up? Is this a time thing? All four switches on this island, you must activate them swiftly. Where's the fourth switch? Oh, it's so far away. Um, interesting. Do I even have the time to get from each one? This is something I don't recognize. would appear that I can't do this yet. Whatever that is, I don't have what's required of it. Okay.
I think the game, the GameCube, if if they weren't so insistent on just controlling the medium and went with a DVD disc instead of this miniature thing, um, probably would have sold a lot more consoles. I would have been more inclined to get a GameCube back, back in the day, but just, yeah. I think that was probably the biggest mistake, <laughs> not using a DVD. Because that generation, it was pretty much things that doubled up. What is going on here? Things that doubled up as a DVD player did well. There you go. I'm dropping bait in front of your... Or are, they, are they just going to be asses and not take the bait? What is... What is this? Why are the rats in this game such dicks? Is, is there any reason at all? Why have they learnt... ...about bombs and everything? Is there any reason they're just highly sentient and aggressive? <laughs> Wish you could replay this on the Switch. Yeah, I mean, there was always the rumor that this and the Twilight Princess HD remakes were going to come to the Switch, but they just never did, so. I had a Wii. I have a Wii U, so I was like, nah, I just want to play them. Never played Wind Waker, and the last time I played Twilight Princess was on the Wii, so. And, you know, um, when it comes to getting new stuff for the stream, whatever, whatever money I make, <laughs> I just put it back into the stream, whether it be through, like, a gear upgrade or just getting a game that I feel like people would enjoy watching me play. Like, I'll, that's what I do with it. Probably that island over there. There is fish over there. I go get the fish. Watching me play this time so you have to unpack the win game. Dude, you should. I mean, if you haven't played it in a while, nostalgia is a good thing. I don't think this is the island I'm look. Well, we'll see. There's a real heavy stone head blocking the cave on that island. Don't you wonder what's behind there? Yeah, I do. Okay. If you go north four squares and east three squares to Fire Mountain. Okay, so... North four squares. Stop it. Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Um, so I guess it's not here. Let's try. Hang on, I gotta turn around. Yeah. 
this and Skyward Sword were the only two that I hadn't played, so... I did play Skyward Sword. I'm gonna play Skyward Sword again, but I'm gonna do hard mode, just for the sake of, like, continuity. Did I have any plans to play Samus Returns? It It is sitting here, yeah, but, like, I, I'm not sure where I'm gonna slot it in. Out of motion controls. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, I bought that game and then the Wii wasn't, I mean, the Switch was announced and, and that was it. I didn't play it, but I do have a copy of it. Because I think the way it's going to go is there's going to be Zelda games until May, at least. So that's kind of one slot covered. After Kirby, it's going to be the Prime remake. And then after that, it's going to be the Yakuza, the new game that came out. So I'd say that covers up until May. And then Tears of the Kingdom is in May. And I might check out Pikmin in between then. And then between all that, I have a couple of other things I want to do. So if I was to play the Samus Returns, it probably wouldn't be until the second half of the year. Samus would kick the entire Yakuza's ass. <laughs> I mean, I just enjoy the Yakuza series, the premise of it. It's just, it's such an absurd game. And this one's set in ancient Japan, so it's gonna be fun. Like, that series won me over. It's, it's just so great how it goes from Telling a serious story to just absolute insanity. IRL Yakuza is disgusting, never really looked into the game because of that. So here's the thing that might be a misconception about that game. Um, it's not- so, yes, it's about the Yakuza, but the main character isn't in the Yakuza, so to speak. He's ex-Yakuza, and like... The stories aren't about committing crimes, it's generally speaking... It's kind of about preventing it, ironically. Um, most of the time. There are, like, a couple of side stories that you, the main character, don't partake in, but you do see happen. But, generally speaking, yeah, you're, you're more about taking care of, of your family and, uh, adopted daughter, more often than not. And then between all this, the storytelling, there's just s stupid stuff happening. Like, I wish I could convey just how random that game is. In one of them, you know, I, w I went from, uh... I went from... basically trying to find someone that would help me infiltrate a criminal organization to going to the bathroom and having an interactive, uh experience whilst going to a ur urinal where the harder I pissed into the urinal the more the digital assistant would uh just you know congratulate me and if I pissed hard enough into the urinal then I would get a high score 
So that's that's the kind of game Yakuza is. Or like going into a massage parlor. And then it just turns into this weird minigame where eventually you get the super deluxe special ultra VIP massage package. And it's just some uh, some weird dude that gives you the massage to like some very erotic techno music. So... It's not the experience you think it is. Let's put it that way. It's kind of, the best way I can describe it is it's kind of like... It's almost like watching anime about... Um, like a crime syndicate and then it just kind of goes off the rails. Like as if it was one of those Japanese game shows where people just get injured when they their contestants on them. That's more or less what the game is. And you have a, a rival that is pretty much like the Japanese Joker, more or less. He's just probably one of the best uh the best rival characters I've seen in the video game. I guess all I'm saying when I'm playing it, give it give it a try. You might be surprised. There's a reason why there's so many of those games. They kind of have this uh, this cult following now. I think what sold me on the game, there was a quest where um, you kind of, you're walking down the street and then you notice this sparkle on the ground and your main character, you know, just out of curiosity walks up to it, picks up the item and the item ends up being a trading card of like um, a, a lady in a bikini, but she's drag dressed up like a bug. And so I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that is that is really weird, but whatever, it's a trading card. And then little do you know that, like, that trading card belongs to a kid, and when you return it, he teaches you about the game it's for. So you think, okay, this is a trading card game, no biggie. So you play this game that this kid tells you to play, you go play it, and it's like a fully 3D wrestling game where it's just rock, paper, scissors, and it's of these, uh, these bug ladies. And, you know, I just, not in a million years. If you gave me, like, a million guesses, and if you were to say I would get a million dollars if I was to get, get it right, as to what I thought that was going to do, nope, would never guess it. One of the side quests involved me being a bodyguard for someone who was obviously Michael Jackson, but not really Michael Jackson. Just out of nowhere. And then you end up accidentally being in a, like, thriller-like music video. Where is this volcano? I swear I've seen it before. 
Oh, no, that's Single Island. Hang on, I'm Spectacle. Is it Spectacle Island? It might be Spectacle Island. I swear I've seen it before, but maybe I don't have the chart for it. What is this island? That's Tower of the Gods, so that's not where I want to go. Fire Mountain, that's the one. No! Oh, damn it. I was on it. That's not what I wanted to do. I have to go by sound. I gotta be close. There it is. Alright, now that I'm used to it, it's not that bad. I just realized I've been playing this for three hours. <laughs> I kind of wanted to play Kirby, but uh, I don't think I will. I think I might just do it tomorrow. Whenever I go hang out with my family, it's, it's always great, but I have to drive like such a long distance. And then when I come back, I'm just, I'm just wrecked. So. I am feeling it a little. I can kill the shark now. I killed it before. I just shot a bomb at it and yeah, it died. A little bit too far. I've killed one before. Oh, go away. I can't be bothered, but I might have to be. There we go. <laughs> what an annoying enemy. Okay, so this is what I'm here for. What am I looking at here? There doesn't seem to be a way in. Yeah, 
Maybe I'm. This isn't where I'm supposed to go. Like, I have the Triforce chart, but I'm not quite sure what island it's referring to. Like, it looks like it's a scattering of islands, but... It's kind of hard to tell. What? No, it was there. Come on. Yeah. I wish I could show the lower screen. <laughs> then I could be like, yeah, this is what I'm talking about visually, but you're just going to have to trust me on this one. Wait, what's this? It's like a Stonehenge thing. There's another one. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just so I can slow down. Um, okay. Nope. Come here, fish. I, I guess I just need to get the C charts and just cross-reference the maps. There, okay, 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 so what what you're looking at there, did you see that on the left? That's what I'm trying to find. I don't think it's this. That doesn't look like what it is. What's troubling me is just, I guess I have to find where this Triforce chart wants me to go. Like, I haven't really been able to find a path forward yet. And it's only on the touchscreen. Well, the chart currently, yes. When I reveal a map, it does show it briefly on the top screen so you can see what I'm talking about, but... It's only when I get a map. It's... It just looks like a collection of islands together. There's probably going to be a map here, so let's just... Anyway, I think I've got on this one. Maybe. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. No, so the moon said, um, don't travel when the moon's out. Like, uh, that, we've gotten that warning before. Wait, hey, the bait. 
Oh, he did, didn't take the bait. And this is all the boat says. Just gather information from people from the sea. Nearby. The only clue I've gotten is to go into that fire thing, but I can't. I can't believe it didn't take the bait. I'm out of bait now. There's multiple treasure here, but I don't think this is this is it. It's interesting that it's guarding it, I will say that, but like Okay, just keep going. I don't think this formation is exactly what I'm looking for. I need to find Beetle and get bait. There's two, there's two markings on my map that say where, right? But like, one of them, I need the heavy lifting thing. And the other one, I'll figure it out. The other one is up here. So the other marking, that it's like one of those special markings. It's here. I'll be okay. I'll figure it out. It's just... I'm just gonna keep going around and figuring it out. Right, so... I guess this is the other... Oh yeah, the Wind Island. Yeah, so this is the other one. But here... I would assume... I need... There's something I don't have that would let me do this. It just pushes me away, so unless I... Well, I guess I didn't really try that hard, really, but like... Maybe if I have to time it. It does look like it's cracked. I don't think this is it. Like, I think it just gets blown away. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Okay, whatever. I would imagine you need something white that... Oh, you're going for the 69. Okay, fine. Yeah, I mean... Wait a minute. Is this just... Hang on.
Just push a counter win. Okay, it wasn't that. Let's try this wind. Yeah, I don't think it's this. Um, but I mean, other than that, let's see. This is pretty much all I have to go by, so I guess let's see what islands I have represented here and what's most likely going to be the culprit. Based on the islands I have, I don't really have anything that looks like the map. So... I would assume this one needs... Oh. Wait, can I get up higher? I would assume this one needs, uh... Like the equivalent of whatever iron boots are or something. I don't know. Something to allow me to walk forward whilst that wind is pushing against me. I'm gonna go buy bait. I'm just gonna go get uh, as many charts as I can and then try to find the island it's talking about. Just Beetle is nowhere to be found right now. Where is the Beetle chart? According to this, Beetle is currently south of here. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. All right, here. I think that's all I have to do is just... Go around, find the islands, and then try and figure out where it is on the map. I just ran out of bait. And for some reason, the fish didn't eat it to eat that other time. Close to the membership, so why not? Thank you. Uh, for good measure, I'll get one of these. Thank you. And that's it. Oh, I don't have any need. Okay. Bye. Wait, no, I'll just buy the bombs. I'll just buy the bombs. I'll take the hit. I just want that membership. Give me membership. Silver membership. We give a luxurious gift to all our silver members. It's the least we could do. I'll send it to you shortly. Okay. Bye. 
called membership. Okay. I'm hoping it's just an expansion of storage or something. Alright, uh, yeah, let me go back to that other island. Because I did see a fish over there. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've gotten this one. This is on a tile that I haven't been to. I think this week what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around to secondhand shops and see if I can find a Wii U Pro controller. Because then if I use that, I'm pretty certain the map would appear on the top screen. And then you'd be able to see what I'm talking about. So that's how it works. How what works? What are you what are you looking at? What? Also sounds like I might have some stick drift, really? What makes you say that? Oh wait, I've already gone in here. Can't say I've noticed it. If the door's open, I've, I've most likely gone in there. When I was Deku jumping, was constantly moving forward? Maybe. But I mean, it would be a second hand one, it wouldn't be a brand new one, so there's still that risk. I do find it interesting that <laughs> apparently the Wii U doesn't support USB controller mode, even though it has USB ports. Which, of course, it doesn't. Way to go, Nintendo. It's the ports are just for charging. He calls it magic armor. Oh, okay. All right, so it's not this island. How else could they force you to get this stuff? Yep. I mean, yeah, let's not. <laughs> We all know how I feel about Nintendo. It's just, they make my favorite games of all time, but man. Some of the stuff they do. No, come on, it's here. I have to adjust it a little bit. I can. This is. There! <laughs> I was right on top of it. I just needed the exact spot. Okay, uh, I'm heading here now. I can see the fish over there. I don't think it's this island, but I just want to get more sea charts and then I can probably pinpoint where this is. I'm kind of curious if this was all, like, in the interest of padding the game out more. I think this would be fine if I was allowed to put stamps and notes on the map, but I'm not. I mean, the original, I understand. The Wii U version, I feel like it should have been allowed. Okay, hang on. This has a collection of islands. Give me a sec. Well, on the map, let me just see. If you go five squares south and one square east, you'll reach Ice Ring Island. Well, you'll find an item that makes you heavier stone. Okay, this is what I want to do. Five squares south, one square east. Okay. 
There we go. There's our biggest lead. Okay, five square south, one east. So, one, two, on, stop it. Stupid map. One, two, three, four, five, one east. All right, I got my destination. Okay. I mean, I'm really enjoying the game. <laughs> Just to be clear. All right. Makes me wish I did have a GameCube back in that era, but... I'd say it's the one intriguing thought I have is just... I wonder if, like, this matching the map thing was to pad it out. Like, there's a few things where I feel like, hmm... It's filler content. Um, we'll make a stop on Windfall as well. It's night time. I want to see if the auction house has what I want. Five south, one east. From Windfall, it's four south, one east. I'm so weirded out by that girl. Anyway, let's see. I have 300. Okay, eh, nothing yet. But supposedly the magic armor appears here. Maybe I have to do, like, a few dungeons or something. Like, it might be a bit early for it, I don't know. There's some requirement that I have to hit before it's made available here. Figured I'd check. Okay. Uh, that direction. Alright, we're good. It's okay, there's battle music now. Wait, do I have this map? Hold on. It doesn't look like I do, there's a question mark, so... Here you go, fish. Should have the other chart open as well, so you can see what I'm talking about. The get, oh uh, yeah, four little hoodlums. Go, go climbing trees and hiding behind buildings instead of going to school. What a bunch of savages. Oh yeah, I think I've done that already. Yeah. You already did that. Okay. Seeing if I can spot out any fish. There's one over there. Sorry, right. I still have reference to where I'm going. But I just want to take care of this while we're here. Please tell me, yes, okay, <laughs> good. Eat it. There you go. I don't know why it didn't work the other the other time.
Okay, hang on. Oh, I probably listened, should have listened to what the fish was saying. I was trying to skip to show this one. Hang on, let me drop bait again and listen. <laughs> I should have listened. It's okay. They've got a shop over there on Windfall Island, a nice outdoor shop. Did you know that small fry? In that shop, they've got a really fine safe that looks brooming to be full of riches. And they just leave it outside day and night. Where is this? I tell you, one of these days, I think it's going to get hauled off by a thief. Of course, if I were trying to find a thief in the act of thieving, I'd stop a perpetrator right there and there and catch the rat red-handed. I'm sure if I did, the owner of that shop would thank me. Uh. Okay. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Okay, uh, we are heading this way. It's just uh, two tiles south of here. That would surely have to be where I'm needed to go because that's what what's required. Okay, let me see if I can see a fish anywhere. Bunch of seagulls here, so hang. Ah. Oh. Ha 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 ha, okay. Guess we're doing this again. But this time I can spam because I have 99 bombs, not very limited amount. I may have been threatening the first time because I was going to run out, but not this time. <laughs> the other one was scarier. The other one had more things to hit. It's B. Alright. That's okay. That's good. <laughs> I, I was worried that I had full money, but I didn't. We're good. We're okay. I didn't have full money, so... Better you all fish. Okay. okay, look. Look at the sea chart now. That that collection of islands is what I need to find. That's why I'm trying to reveal as many as possible. Have you heard again Triumph Forks? In that house. If you want, you better go and don't scale the place from floor to ceiling. Okay. Yeah, not yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I'm not even using the fast sail. <laughs> there we go. It's here. I just need to be on the correct side. It's here. There it is. <laughs> so picky. The good news is I have enough money to decipher another one of the maps now. Okay. Why does this island look ominous? Oh, that would be because it's made out of ice. Okay, uh, what is the bait? There's this amazing treasure inside that freezing ring of ice over there. But even if you wanted it and tried to get inside, you'd be frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore. Oh my god. You go four squares north <laughs> and three squares west, you'll find the power to melt any ice. So, in order to go here. Oh my god, I need to go further up. Alright, alright. Four squares. What was it? Four squares. I didn't even read it because I was annoyed. Four squares north and something what I'll just do it again. Yeah, do it. Four squares north and three west, okay. Let me see where that is on the map. Oh, right. Sorry, I was looking at the map. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So it's here. Hold on. And then this direction. Right. It'll be a while. Ah. Yes, wind wader indeed. Wading through water for like multiple hours on end. This is is it it's pretty much like this game's equivalent of the trade quests in the previous games. It's just Follow the thread. Okay, hopefully with this it'll lead me somewhere. Otherwise I'm like, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> Outside of, I guess, just going around to every tile and just finding the map and then cross-referencing it with the Triforce chart. Okay, it's just one tile across from here.
Okay, we should be entering the tile right about now. That's somewhere in this tile. It's either on the island or it's on one of these floating things. How do I even... I think I can even climb up. I'm gonna check the island first. This looks promising. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get the map at the very least. Come here, fish. I wonder how long it's been since the light in Windfall's lighthouse went dark. It was quite a grand sight, I tell you, the way the ray of light shone out like a shaft of gold through the cold darkness. I used to gaze at it with dear Jillian. Anyway, I bet if someone could shoot a powerful spark into the top of the lighthouse, it would light up again. Of course, that's my intuition talking. Yeah, I mean, that one I already knew. Okay, so... I'm hoping this is just throw bombs with timing and then we can do this. If it's got anything to do with moving, moving the rock boulders and well. Okay. It's, it's, I'm going to bind it to Y. It's probably easier with Y. All right. Excellent. All right, cool. May have finally. Not oh, too early. It's okay, I have 80 bombs. <laughs> I don't have 80 hearts though. Oh, what have I done? That would have been cool if the splash hit it, but nope. There we go. a stick or something to light stuff with. Wait, can I... Is this possible? Like, is this other Zelda games? No, it doesn't allow it in this one. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, it's here. Okay, cool. Frame rate is extra crusty in here. Oh 
wonder if Nintendo will ever make a console one day that can handle 60 FPS stable no matter what. I mean, this was still in the era of 30, so this one's understandable, but like... Whatever comes after the Switch... It's a treasure chart. It's not what it's... unless this is take. This is. Is this really all I came here for? No. I thought this was going to be the fire rod. This is. This is not progress. To reach Western Fairy Island, head west from here. Oh, apparently there's another fairy island over there. Come on, really? Maybe I can blast this with the ship. Hang on. Work smarter, not harder. Oh my god, I could have blasted it with the ship. <laughs> I think I could have blasted these rocks with the ship. Is this true? Ah, oh, no. Wow. Good, good. Good overcomplication. Okay, it's nothing. Uh... I mean, I've got a treasure chart, but I don't know if that's a big deal. The problem is, I can't tell if it's a special treasure chart. I guess that's the issue. It, it kind of blends in with the other ones. Okay, that, I can see some fire over there, so let's see. Here the bad people who live on Dragon Roost Island east of here have invented an incredible useful device called the grappling hook. Yeah, I've done that. Good morning! Alright, what is it? No, oh, it's just 10 rupees, that's fine, I'll pay it. 
Notice the silver membership holders. Thank you for your frequent patronage of Beetle Shop Ships. Since you have earned 30 points, you have been granted silver membership. All silver membership holders receive a special gift of one complimentary ID. Okay. Who knows what this is about, but you should take it to Beetle. Okay. Like a, this is just a, a gate. Okay. <laughs> Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Still not what I'm looking for. Did I measure it wrong? I don't know. I could have sworn it would have been the tile east of here. I'll have a look around here. Like the adjacent tiles, but I swear this is where it was pointing me to. Something to make you heavy as rock. Okay, um, it's not this, so let's go one south. could possibly be in those things over there, but I'm going to rule it out for now. Isn't this this Forbidden Island thing? This was the Triforce map. Okay, so this is... I found a Triforce shard. Without... <sighs> that was this. So I need, I need the map from here. Hooray for progress. This was the island I was looking for. Ha! <laughs> yeah, there it is. Okay. When it happens, when it happens, that's all the info left. Okay. I mean, I never got to explore this island has said it was a cursed island, so I kind of just took the advice and let it be. Yep. Wait a minute. Is this a different one?
keep it. Came from distant lands when I heard there was a treasure of great worth on but I can't find a thing. The most mystic of all, the shop guru statue, but it seems I'm off the mark again. By the by, so for some reason looking at the delivery bag was giving us a seeking suspicion that there's a rare treasure in its depth. Anything at all. Okay. Ah, oh, that's... A sea flower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in changing it for this exotic flower? Sure. My fee will be... 25. Yeah, done. Thanks. That settles things. I'll give you your item as promised. Hold out both hands. Okay. It's a refreshing flower that blossoms in the tropical regions to the south. Okay. By trading our goods for goods, we form the Merchant's Oath. As such, from now on, I shall honor my merchant's oath by sending my shipments of product to Windfall Island Shop. How, you ask? With my good pal, the postman, will take it there for me, so it will likely get there before you do. Just head back to Windfall to see for yourself. Thanks again. I don't know why the camera was rotating so much there. Okay, but I guess there was a purpose to coming here. to climb that. Uh, I might go back to Windfall. I guess I've made progress technically, so I can be proud of that. <laughs> I think this is all this is going to be is just, it's going to get easier the more maps I have. That's why it was so tricky, I just didn't have many maps. Okay, there's another map coming up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, what? I already got this one. Oh, this is the tingle one. Um, I may as well... I may as well do this. Since I have the funds to decipher another one, so why not? Such a weird press. Not sure why it's that, but whatever. There we go. Okay, let's see if that's anything recognizable. No, I'm good. Okay, uh... This one appears to be on a single island. Let's see if I have anything that matches that description. I kind of, I kind of wish you could see what I'm seeing. <laughs> no, okay, I don't have anything that matches. Well, looks like it anyway. We're gonna head to the other island anyway first. Okay, 
Hopefully I got that before night time. I'm just gonna ignore you. I'm gonna race land shortly and then I won't have to worry. I want to see where the safe they were talking about was. Oh. Hey you, come on, use your head. You can't just stand there like that. You're my way, can't you move? Oops, that won't do. That won't do at all. I'm already back to my old habits. Terribly sorry. Really, I am. Um, welcome to you, sir. This is uh, this way to Windfall's outdoor shop, chock full of fun and happy products. Yes, yes, young master. Look, already my shop has a wide variety of products to choose from. It is a cornucopia. Thanks to you, young master, every morning the postman comes with packages from the traveling salesman you traded with. At last, my humble store has the appearance of a full-fledged store. My dear, your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the success of my business. Master, you are the savior of my store. I must thank you from the very bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession next to my hoodie coat, of course. It is none other than the Zunari family treasure. Please accept it. Magic armor. Use your rupees to create a barrier around you that protects you from enemy attacks. You won't expend rupees unless you take damage from enemy or any hazard. This is the only heirloom I brought with me when I moved here from my hometown, excluding the lovely cell you purchased from me earlier, of course. It is a magical heirloom, one that calls up a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. Of course you can use it when you are sailing the open seas, my dear. Please, use it to protect yourself as you seek out more merchants, I beg of you. And please, be on the constant lookout for new and exciting products, not that I have anything left to reward you with if you find any. Oh, this is the safe. Okay, there's the safe, so like, at night time, I guess, we have to bust someone. Catching... Catch them in the act. I think this is all I was coming here for. Um, how many of... I'm looking... 17, I need 20. Okay. I don't have enough of those special bracelet things. I don't think there's anything else to be done here. Have I talked to you before? Mm, who might you be? Why do I get this strange feeling that we've met before? Ah, it's you. The little boy who promises big promises and then fails to deliver them. Hmm. Too bad you couldn't save my daughter. Fortunately, not everyone in this world fails to deliver. As it turns out, my deep meal was saved by a group of kind pirates. The pirates had a leader, Tetra. I believe she said her name was. I was most grateful. She did demand a rather hefty reward, though. Thanks to them, my fortune has vanished. We've hit rock bottom. But my little Mila is alive and home safe where she belongs, so I can't complain. A daughter is more important than money. <laughs> I knew I recognized his face. It was the rich dude. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I've seen this dude somewhere before. Okay, continuity. It's pretty funny. I do like that they did that. Okay. Well, chat, as much as I would love to keep playing, uh, I'm gonna call it here for tonight. Firstly, it's been four hours. <laughs> Secondly, 
I have, uh, I have work in the morning, so I need to make sure I get some sleep, and I'm pretty tired. But I hope you did enjoy tonight's stream of, uh, when I wake up. We'll pick this up again tomorrow, once I'm done with work and all my evening stuff, so... We'll hopefully make more progress, but I got the feeling I'm just gonna have to go around to all the islands and just kinda figure it out. I think it should be fine. Anyway, while some away as usual, if you wanna watch more of my content, YouTube's the place to go. Just search for the channel name over there. I have three channels, one for VODs, one for highlights, one for the occasional YouTube stream, so hope you do check that out. And if you're watching this on YouTube later, or are new to the stream in general, thank you for watching. Appreciate it a lot. Alright. And on that note, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. I will be back tomorrow. We'll do more Wind Wake Out. Once I'm done with work. So, yeah. It's like this time slot-ish. Maybe a little bit earlier, so. Alright. Take care, everyone.